even though Doctor Who is one of my favorite shows, I have not rewatched the show for any reviews yet. So the specials are going to be my first reviews. Um, they decided to break the fucking big thing that happened in, I think, season three. Where um, Donna, you know, has to completely forget the Doctor. And, um, you know, if she ever learns again, she'll die. Well... To fix that plot, she has a child, and I guess, like, the burden went on to her now or something. It's, it's kind of confusing, kind of dumb, but Doctor Who's always been kind of confusing, kind of dumb, kind of silly, kind of scary. It's, it's a lot of things, so I won't criticize it. If they wanted to bring back a fan favorite, they could have just brought back a fan favorite. We didn't need an explanation, in my opinion. But the explanation they did was okay. Um, but they did do thing in the first special. I've seen both specials, but I'm reviewing this one finally now. Um, and, you know, they do a thing that was way too predictable where the other people aren't actually the bad guys. And the cute little animals, the bad guy. And to signify that change, they give him scary teeth. Um, okay, very weird choice. They actually do something similar in the special too, which I'll talk about in that review. You know, since it's a special, there isn't too much to talk about. The Doctor is played by David Tennant again. Um, they don't fully explain why. Um, you know, he's confused himself, he's like... Why this face? Um, we do get Wilford back. I liked him. And we get the mom back. We get Donna back. They they really try and tease the fans in the first few minutes of the episodes. I thought it was pretty funny. Donna names her kid Rose. So they don't show her for quite a bit. And Donna's like, Rose, Rose, Rose. And... The doctor's like, Rose? And he starts looking around for Rose, but then turns out to be someone that's not the Rose you're thinking of. And it was a pretty funny gag. Pretty funny way to tease them, you know? The fans, it, it was funny. But honestly, first special was, it was okay. I liked special two way better. There isn't much to say about this one. It's more them just... Trying to fix the the plot of a, like a ten years ago. Because <laughs> they wanted to bring back a character. Now, Special 2, on the other hand, was really good. We do get, technically, our first trans character. Though, wouldn't, I would say the Doctor is kind of trans. Since he was a girl in the latest season. Um, or at least, you know, like... Under the trans umbrella, like gender fluid, gender queer, whatever. But we do get like an official trans character with Donna's daughter, Rose. Because she transitioned male to female. I don't remember if Rose was in like an old season. Probably not because of that whole Rose gag. But yeah, that's honestly really about it. 